guys, welcome to another video, and um, done by Rossi Audio again. Um, I want to take up a topic today that I have had on my mind for a while, and it's kind of been bugging the shit out of me. Um, not a lot of stuff regarding Seren Vega bugs the shit out of me, but this one does. And um, I see it mostly in other groups, but I also see it in the Seren Vega, both Seren Vega groups, mostly the other one, and um, not so much in ours. Um, for some reason, people that are actively in engaging others in our group knows and understand the importance of repairing and restoring their speakers back to original, you know. Um, but in other groups, for some reason, that are non-specific about Serena Vega, I see a lot of people who have, who post like postings like, oh, can I buy this? Should I buy this? And then they have all these haters that like, no, don't do it, blah, 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 or <clears throat> stuff like that. Um, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is people who buy Serum Vegas and all the speaker needs is foam. They need to re-foam their woofers. And this goes for most brands. JBL needs it after a while. Altec needs it. Jensen needs it. You can go on and on uh, about brands. Everyone needs to change foam if they have used foam in their construction at some point. But for some reason, a lot of people post that they bought this model, D series, AT, DX, RE, whatever. And then, then they say, well, I need to replace the woofer. Can anyone give me a good idea on a woofer that I can replace it with? And then I go like, you have a perfectly working woofer. All you need is to buy a, a pair of foam that will cost you, depending on the size of the woofer, of course, somewhere between $12 and $30 for a pair. And in those kits, most of them comes with glue, and some in, in some cases, most of them comes with a dust, dust cap, and shims, and instruction manual. So, people want that that buys used Star Vega that needs to be refoamed. Absolutely want to replace the woofer with something else. This bugs the shit out of me. Why not keep it original? and just pay 20, 25 bucks for a freaking refoam kit instead of going out and buy a 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 dollar woofer, two of them, and replace the original ones. And you're replacing the original ones with something that you don't know if fits the crossover points or even the cabinet size. So, you're, you, you want to put something in there that you don't know if it fits. It can't become any more stupid than that. If you are that freaking stupid, sell the speakers to someone who wants to restore them back to original. If this is you, and you, you buy a pair of Seren Vegas and they need foam, even if they need to be reconed, a recon kit will run you anywhere between $25 and $75, depending on the size and the model. Still cheaper than going out and buy a shitty freaking driver from some other company that doesn't even fit in the cabinet or the crossover or interaction with the other drivers. And this is not just about the woofers. I see it on the tweeters and the mid ranges as well, and it's just as bad. You can get original parts on eBay for a very good price. Original parts. Why not just get original parts and then upgrade your crossover with some better capacitors? Because if they're old, they probably need to be changed anyway. But no, let's take the original drivers out and put something else in 
And a lot of the people who do this buy these shitty 10, 15, 20, 25 dollar drivers that are not, that are so far away in quality from the original that was there. So they're degrading their speakers. This is so stupid. And if you are one of these, I want to tell you right away, you do not deserve to own a freaking Sarah Vega speaker. If you take that woofer out and you, you replace it with some cheap $25 woofer, not only are you getting less quality, you get probably less sound, and you get a shitty thing that probably will blow before you just by looking hard at it, okay? So, I can't stress it enough. This goes for all speaker brands. JBL, Altec, Jensen, Electrovoice, Coral, you name it, Cern Vega, you, it doesn't matter what brand it is. Keep it freaking original, okay? If not, sell it to someone who wants to keep it original because you don't deserve to own that pair of speakers, okay? It is that simple. You have to think about this. Old speaker models, Cern Vega as well, JBL, Altec, Jensen, Electrovoice, Coral, Infinity, Tanoi, doesn't matter what it is. I'm speaking in general, but I'm using Cern Vega because that's what I'm dealing with. If you butcher them and you put something unoriginal in them, not only have you destroyed the speaker, but you have destroyed the value of the speaker if you want to resell them down the road. And you have to think about this too. Old speakers, and I don't care if, it, if they're only 10 years old, or 20 years old, or 40 years old, or even 50 years old. The older the speaker gets, the harder it is to get original parts. So if you decide to butcher a pair of speakers that are 20, 25, 30, 40 years old, not only are you destroying the speaker for yourself and being a total moron, but you're destroying the resale value later on when you want to sell them. And you're making the life difficult for those who buys it who wants to make it back to original because the parts are not that easy to find. So use your brain a little bit, okay? I have been doing speaker restoring for years. 30 years almost, 29. I have restored, repaired speakers for decades. I know how hard it is to source parts when someone has butchered and hacked and done their little, I'm going to replace it, you know? So if you are that person, please do not buy any type of speakers. Go to Best Buy and buy yourself some shitty speakers in an all-inclusive component system. That is what you deserve. You don't deserve vintage speakers. If you decide to hack them, you are basically doing something that is sacrilegious to most people that are collectors, which means you are not a collector. So, like I said, you don't deserve to own them. Now, I'm not going to speak on behalf of JBL and all the other brands. There are other in interest groups that can do that. I'm going to speak for Sir and Vega and I'm going to say, if you decide to buy a pair of Sir and Vega that needs some, let's say, updating or restoring or something, do it right. Do it originally. Use the, the parts that are meant to be used. If you hack them out, You're nothing but a shithead. And when I get people in my group, in my Cern Vega group, starting to suggest that they're gonna do that, I give them help. And a lot of other people in my group give them help. And they deserve to get help. You want to stay original, original, original. I don't care if, the, if it's the woofer, the tweeter, the mid-range, the cabinet, you know, if you want to upgrade and do some things, I agree that you can do 
the crossover, take it out, look at it, get the same value on the caps, but upgrade to a better quality cap capacitors. And maybe go down from, a lot of Seven Vegas has five and 10% caps. You can go down to like, where, where there is five, a 10, you can go down to five or 1% and make the crossover better. I have no problem with that. If your cabinet has veneer damage, I have no problem that you strip the veneer off and re-veneer it. But put real veneer back on. Don't use some cheap freaking foil or film. Um, even the models that came from Sarn Vega with that type of like fake veneer film, when plastic veneer whatever if that is bad and you strip that off replace it with a real veneer that will increase the value of your speaker even though it's not original because it came with that shitty film but you are putting something better on it and uh, so but when it comes to drivers for God's sake keep it original I mean if I get someone in my group that posts and brags about stripping down and hacking up a speaker, I will freaking de delete them from my group. I mean it. They will be booted out of the group before they can say, ah. Um, I mean, if you have a pair of speakers and you have a pair of Seren Vega woofers that are not original to that model, but you put it in there for now until you can find the original ones that's totally okay but don't be a jerk and take the original out just because it needs foam and put some Chinese ten dollar freaking Titan woofer in there it is a hack job if you have a speaker and let's say you have the L122-4 driver if you put an L22 driver in there, I'm not going to bitch about it to you because they're so close. And if you, if you do it until you can find the original one, so what? But if you put a $10 Titan driver in there and you start bragging about it in my group, I'll and boom, you will be out. I will not respect any more hack jobs. It's been bugging the shit out of me and I come to a point where I have realized that there's not a lot of people out there who actively tries to preserve the Servan Vega brand, the old school brand and the old school products. If someone is going to do it, I'm sorry to say it, but I think it has to be me. And I'm not going to tolerate in any groups people who try to hack a Soren Vega speaker. I'm going to become a vigilant on this. That's why if you're watching this end of this movie, uh, this film or video, I have decided that I maybe, maybe I will go back into restoring Soren Vega speakers from bottom up. I am not, I haven't made up my mind yet because I'm, I'm focused on big bad dog speakers and they take a lot of time right now but I might go back into sourcing restoring speakers from ground up and we're talking about old school Southern Vega just because there's too many hack jobs and too many freaking idiots out there who doesn't know better and um, I have to try and stop people from hacking up old models. I think that was it. This was my video number two for today and my head is spinning. So I think I have to go into some editing. But guys, for crying out loud, keep it original. It's not that hard and it's cheaper to keep it original.